in this session let's cover the scenario of where the database is running in a archive log mode and you lost all the control files okay we know without the control files the database cannot run control files are very very important right let's open a terminal okay let's go to disk 2 here let's go to prod 1 and let's go to control if you look at here we are in disk 2 prod 1 control this is where our control files are there right okay so let me see the control files okay we have two control files and the date is 28th April remember this 28th April and now let me remove this control files yes yes and now if you check the control files are not there oops now the database will not function now you get the call from the users saying the database is not running and once you go to the folders and see the control files are missing even if you have one control file the database can run but here we lost both the control files one of the mistake which we did was we created the control files in the same folder that was the first mistake we did right normally control files should be in separate folders on different disk even if one disk fails you have the control file from the other disk right yes okay now we lost the control files we cannot do anything the only thing is like if you remember on 27 you took a backup right okay we stored our backup in disk 1 hot backup folder and let's see the control file okay we have the control file which was taken on April 27 at 20 hours 17 minutes the current control file is April 28 and the backed up one is from April 27 okay at least we have a backup control file so now the first step which we need to do in the database is we shut down the database okay shut down abort okay so that means we are shutting down the database Oracle instances shut down now let's go back and copy the control file so we copy this control file to where should we copy we should copy it to disk 2 prod 1 control folder okay we copied the control file now let's go to disk 2 prod 1 control and let's check okay we have that but our control file name should be either control 01.ctl or control 02.ctl so let me change the file control dot bk to control 01.ctl okay and now we have control 01.ctl CTL we have one control file if you remember we had two control files right so let me create the other one control 01.ctl to control 02.ctl okay so now we have two control files and again we need to change the permissions if you want you can log in as oracle so that you need not change the owner and the group next time we will log in as oracle so that we need not do that so let me change the owner to oracle and let me change the group to o install okay changed and the control files are good to go start up in mount mode if you remember we need to start the database in a mount mode if we have to recover the database okay so I'm starting up in mount mode okay 
the database is mounted now let's recover the database recover database using backup control file until cancel okay now it's giving a suggestion we need to apply the sequence number 34 okay now let's go and check our redo logs okay let me come back and here our redo logs are stored in log and here we have group 1 redo log files group 2 redo log files and group 3 redo log files so let's start applying one by one okay once we apply one redo log file if that is sufficient to recover then we don't need to apply the other redo log files okay first one where is it it's in disk 2 prod 1 log and it is redo 01 dot log we can apply either redo 01 dot log or redo 01 b dot log remember they both store the same information okay so disk 2 prod 1 log slash redo 01 dot log the log is applied and the media recovery is complete wonderful if this log is not applied then we will apply the next one which is redo 02 dot log if that doesn't apply then we will apply one of this either 3a or 3b or 3c okay like this we will apply all the redo log files and once the required log is applied oracle database will say log applied and media recovery complete okay we have successfully recovered the database now let's open the database and reset all the logs okay database is opening and it is resetting all the logs the database is altered okay let's check the database status instance name comma status from v dollar instance okay the instance name is prod1 and the instance is open congratulations you learnt how to recover a lost control file